your speech opening. I've heard that old adage, you must just grab attention at the beginning of your speech, and it's, it's horrible advice. Uh, it's better than not grabbing attention, but so many people, in the opening of their speech, they grab attention, but then you have our attention, but it's not related to your premise. The premise that I learned from my coach, Patricia Fripp, is the thought or the idea that you're selling. So I'm going to give you a new way to look at your opening, the opening of your presentation, whether it's a corporate presentation, a keynote, whatever that is. We don't want to just go for attention, but how about this? See, the opening has to make us curious to wonder where you're going. But here's the key. It needs to be related to the point of the speech. So your opening should set up your premise. So before you can create your opening, you've got to get clear on your premise. And that means define in 10 words or fewer what your main point is, what your whole point of that message is. 10 words or fewer. Sounds hard, but if you're not clear, your audience doesn't have a prayer. So here's a recent speech that I do. I challenge myself. I create a new one each year. So here's a recent opening to one of my latest speeches. The world is not only dark because bad people harm. The world is also dark because good people hide. What? The world is not only dark because bad people harm. The world is also dark because good people hide. Think about it. Are you hiding? So in that clip, did it make you curious? So it's a deep quote, but the point is that I'm setting up my premise that too many people are hiding as speakers. They're not being transparent. They're not being uh, aggressive enough and being open enough and authentic enough with their speech. So the more authentic and transparent we are, the more engagement and the more influence we'll have. So that's kind of the message I'm setting up. I know it's not 10 words or fewer. Here's 10 words or fewer. Stop hiding. Start being more transparent. More influence comes from more authenticity. Uh, authenticity plus transparency equals credibility. That comes from my coach, Mark Brown. So in your speech opening, how about instead of just grabbing attention, getting us curious to want to hear the rest of the speech, but notice in this clip too, I used your, I used the word you or your in my opening and there's a question there to relate it to the audience. Are you hiding? So what does that mean should be what comes up in the audience's mind. But I've got to create that question to get the curiosity to get them leaning in. That's the key. A good opening is going to get your audience to lean in. So try that on your next speech. Are they curious? Are they leaning in? Do they want to hear the rest of the speech? Try that. If you want to know more about Stage Time University, this is what we do and teach. We help presenters become masters faster.